John Cena, 16 time WWE champion and my hero. Today I got the chance to interview him. Boys and girls, enjoy. <laughs> All right. How are you? We're good. We're All good right. to go. All right. I actually can't believe this. Why? Why? Because you were, you've always been like an idol throughout my whole life. I thought it was Since. gonna. I thought it was gonna be because you couldn't see me. <laughs> oh, good. So there I am, bloody scared and jittering, and now John Cena's cracking the banter. Like, <laughs> I don't know what's going on, but let's continue. I thought it was gonna be that, like you're talking to a chair and it's weird. But the chair's talking back, so we can have a, a bit of a convo. We can. Yeah. So, what to you makes a true champion? The ability to learn from failure. Because champions are not born through victory. They're born through getting back up when times are tough. And all of us in life, no matter what you do, whether it's in a WWE ring, and I, what a great example, as a 16-time champion, mm. that means I've lost it 16 times. Mm. So it's the ability to learn from failure. I want to know, like, what was your lowest point in your career, and how, how did you come back from that? Uh, you know, uh, right when I started, early on, um, I didn't necessarily attach to the WWE Universe, and I was told that I was going to be let go. So I guess uh, facing the fact that the dream could be over, facing the fact that it's not a ride that lasts forever, that everyone, uh, everyone's career comes to an end, and, and I was just very fortunate to get that message and then mm. take some extreme chances, and it all worked out. But yeah. I think being told that uh, I was about to be fired was... For real? Yeah, this was because... a long time ago, too. I mean, my next question was going to be, like, you've always had a split audience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, right down the middle. It's fun. Like, how have you balanced that and got on with that? Uh, I got to be honest with you, and I said this in an interview a little while ago. Um, the WWE Universe, they don't realize it, but they've, they've made me a better man. Because um, it's at times been very tough to deal with the hostility, but it's taught me patience. It's, um, I've learned tolerance. Uh, I completely uh, am totally fine with the person buying a ticket doing and saying whatever they want. Mm. And for me to try to control that reaction, that's not doing them a service. So mm. over 10 years of that, of hearing it constantly and the chants change all the time, uh, but the message is still there. Half the people like me, half the people don't. Um, it's, a, it's been an awesome life's lesson. It, it's actually made me the man I am today. And that's all for the WWE fans. So it's pretty cool. Well, next question, obviously earlier on in the year, I interviewed The Rock. Yeah. Okay, and um, I just want to know, like, what's your relationship like with him? He is a person I can't say enough good things about, which uh, people are tough to digest that because a few years ago, it was quite the opposite. But in, um, in actually being able to confront your opponents, many times in WWE, like you develop these strong friendships mm. of guys you've had the most matches with. It's like you beat the hell out of okay. each other enough, yeah, yeah, yeah. you have a pint and you settle it. Like yeah. it's a... Uh, he is just a, a wonderful human being in every respect. He is an absolute trailblazer. He's given me advice. Uh, he continues to inspire me, not by like reaching out to me and be like, hey man, just checking out, which he does yeah. on a very regular basis, but just by his actions. Um, the best way to lead is by example. And even where he is, and with all of his success, he still puts in work every single day. Yeah. And I think that's extremely, extremely admirable. Next up, I want to know, where is the weirdest place your career has taken you? Uh, well, I'm, a, I'm an 11 foot uh, multi-ton bull <laughs> with yeah. a voice. And would you say you actually see yourself in your character, Ferdinand, like at all? Uh, only a little bit, and I think that's what's yeah. great about the movie when I watch it. I don't see, like because I've been on WWE for so long, mm. people hear the voice and they yeah. immediately attach. Mm. The cool thing about Ferdinand is you just watch the movie. Yeah, of course. So, I mean, I'm very proud of that because yeah. I wouldn't want anybody to be like, hey, Ferdinand, do the thing. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. And, like, how do, you, um, how do you record something like that? Because is it everyone in a room together? No, it's not. It's not. Everybody separately. And that's... How? Because the, you interact like it's literally as though yeah. responsive. And I, the, the animators of the movies don't get enough credit. Really? Studios like Blue Sky and okay. everyone else making animated films, they, uh, they really work a lot. This film took seven years to make. Why? Wow. So 
we we only did about the last year and a half, but the from the first wow. storyboards to the final product is an enormous process. Wicked. Yeah. Well, I've got one last thing to show sure. you. Come on, see <laughs> So, when I was 12 years old, yeah. I came to a WWE show. Yes. <laughs> and I made this. Oh my, that's awesome. <laughs> Do you want to know the best feature? Right, so we've got a little vote Velcro. You can see awesome. me. That is absolutely awesome. <laughs> Yeah, man. My mum found it the second she found out I was interviewing you. That, is, this out there, uh, that is really that cool. Thank yeah, you. man. <laughs> so, yeah, there we go. I appreciate it's it. It's been a pleasure, man. Thank Absolute you so much. Well. Thank you. Wicked. All good? Nice one.